Hey guys, two things today. One, I'm using a different camera. So in theory, I should be a lot more focused, clearer, um, not as fuzzy as I normally am. Second thing, um, we're gonna be doing a tutorial today. Um, I know this is different to the usual video, but I thought it could be kind of fun. Um, it is a costume for Neelix. The key word there is costume. Um, I would not wear this look to the grocery store. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a daily basis. It's just a little bit of fun. The alien race that we're mimicking today is Talaxin. Like I already said, that's basically just Neelix. Um, I'm going to insert a quick photo of him just so you have a reminder of what he looks like. I'm trying to keep this really simple. We're literally going to be using just three shades of face paint. Um, it's going to be a 2D look. I'm not using any prosthetics or anything. It's really easy and for the most part you can just do this with your fingers. We're starting with the most exciting color and that is yellow. Um, we're going to be taking this just with our fingers, dry and applying it to the area right above our eyebrow, as well as the hollow of our cheeks. Um, if you don't know where the hollow of your cheek is, make a fish face. And then that line that forms is basically where we're going to be applying this color. Then taking a dry sponge, we're just going to blend that out. Next, we're going to be applying a little bit to our neck right underneath our jawline. And of course, do this to both sides. and blend it out again with a dry sponge. I should point out this product does say not to apply it undiluted, and I think by that they mean not to do it dry like I'm doing, so just keep that in mind if you want to do it this way. Um, the only reason I'm doing it like this is because it gives a little bit more of a sheer coverage, and I just want this to be kind of basically our foundation for the rest of what we're going to do. So we're going to be taking the color white. Mine's a little bit messy, but again, taking your finger, we're going to apply it right to the center of our forehead, especially where the yellow ends, like that. As well as um, the very high part of our cheek, basically where our under eye circles are. <laughs> then above our eyebrow, rather than underneath it to highlight. And blend it out again with a dry brush. Um, I'm just going to use the other side of this one. Then we're going to do our noses and the area right underneath our eyebrows. Don't worry about the color not being opaque. Um, we're just using this as a highlighter so you don't have to look like cakey clown white. The next up is brown. We're going to be applying this right between the yellow and the white that we had um, because Neelix does kind of have these raised sections in his um, on his face and this white is going to kind of highlight it. It's not going to look 3D. We're not going to have perfectly sculpted faces now, but a little bit of contouring is better than nothing. Um, so this goes right here. Also on the jawline, right between these two yellow patches we did, blend with a dry brush again. Taking a wet brush, I'm going to be using a flat um, foundation brush for this. And we're going to put it onto the brown, get it a little bit moist, like so. Apply this down the center of your face. Not quite to your eyebrows though. Now we're gonna make a little bit of a V shape. Follow your hairline around to your temples and then stop. You can apply this quite thick if you want. Um, it's fine if it's quite opaque now that we're using the water. Okay, just taking your finger, we're gonna blend the edges of this out just a little bit so it's not quite as harsh. Next, taking another wet brush. This one is an eyeliner brush, but anything that's quite slim and flat would do a good job. It is wet. We're going to take a little bit more of the brown and make some kind of ridges along the centerpiece. And with a wet white paint, we're going to go right above it. and blend it out a little bit. You'll notice that Neelix has another set of kind of this brown rain that comes in like there and stops at the ends of your eyebrows. Um, I tried that yesterday when I was practicing this, but I found that because the proportions of my face are so small, um, it just wound up looking really cramped and it didn't work. Um, but obviously if you have you know, a better frame than I do, it, it, it would look good if you tried it. And you could add some more ridges just coming around like that. Talaxins kind of have a, a mullet mohawk where they have sort of 
extended baldness, I guess, kind of behind their ears, kind of a fuzzy mohawk, and then long hair in the back. Obviously, I don't have that, but if you have a receding hairline or you're bald, then go ahead and bring your rings right back behind your ears. I think it would look really good and so much more effective than this looks on me. Taking our foundation brush again and some more brown, we're gonna go to our cheeks and find the hollows again. and apply a little bit of a thicker, more opaque line right along the bottom section of this brown bit we did before. Again, this is kind of a contouring thing. We're going to make it darker where the light doesn't hit and then much lighter where light would hit. And surprise, surprise, blend it out. Use a sponge or your finger, whatever. Okay, it looks like I was an idiot and forgot to put record when I went to go and get my Q-tips. Um, but basically for the dots, we're going to use a Q-tip. Just wet it a little bit and put it into the brown paint and start by following the harshest lines of the brown, so around our hairline and this section on our cheek. You'll find that as the Q-tip becomes bloated with water, um, the circles are a lot bigger. You can use that to your advantage if you like to. And finally, don't forget this space on our jawline. I also forgot to record the part where I added a line um, into the center of my nose to kind of mimic the um, almost kind of a, a crack, I guess, that Neelix has. Um, and all I did was take my eyeliner brush again and put a sharp line down the middle and then blurred it out. I'm going to be keeping the rest of my makeup very simple because I have so much going on in the rest of my face that it would just draw attention away from it. For the rest of my makeup, I just added a little bit of mascara, some beige lipstick, and some soft brown eyeshadow. Like I said before, I'll link the products down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and do let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more videos like this where I do kind of um, costume tutorials, I guess. Um, it wouldn't be every week, obviously, probably just once a month, but it is doable if you liked this. Bye-bye!